It's, it's going to be awfully tough for Rublev just to get out of this particular section of the draw. But I do like his chances. I do like the way that he's playing at the moment. I'm just interested to know when, we, when Chris sort of looks at how he can win this tournament, does he have enough variety in his game, Rublev, to beat the very best? Well, I mean, I think he has beaten the very best at this very tournament. He just hadn't been able to win it in the final. So I definitely think on any given day, the, the style of play that Andre Rublev has, super aggressive, taking time away, forcing the issue, it can be effective. It's going to come when he plays an opponent like a Hatchinov, like a Kasper Ruud, who's going to vary heights and spins, use that heavy forehand to try to outmaneuver Rublev. Because if Rublev is on balance on a clay court, on a hard court, on any court, he's going to be a very dangerous opponent. We, we know how good a junior Rublev was. He was the ITF world champion. He's winning 50 matches a year now. He's finished in the top 10 the last three years running. But I feel like we don't hear the same chatter with him about, oh, he's going to win a Grand Slam that we hear with some of the other young guns. Should there be more chatter about Rublev, or is it correct that there's not? Right, it's a great question. I, I think there probably should be a little bit more chatter because we're going to have more opportunities right now. I mean, we obviously know that the big four, you know, some have departed, some are still there, some are still sort of struggling to some degree. So there's no question that you're going to see at the back end of the majors more opportunities than we've ever seen in the last 15 to 20 years out there. So a guy like Rublev has got to think that that quarter final spot, which he's been stuck on a number of times already in the course of his career since 2017, the US Open, that he's going to get further than that. And if he gets further than that, then anything is possible. I do think his time will come. Is he a future Grand Slam champion, do you think, Rublev? I think he can be. I think the key part of it that Pep said is these next few years are going to be very different than the last 15 to 20 years. It's going to be a lot more parity amongst the Grand Slam champions. I do think Andre Rublev has the tools, has the game to, at some point, put together a spectacular two weeks and win a Grand Slam. He already has 12 singles titles at age 25. Only 10 active players have more singles titles than that.